Today we commemorate those who have fought for freedom, the freedom we embrace every waking day, and oftentimes taken for granted. Let's thank them by loving our country and by making all their hard work worth it. It was our first liberation out of the series from the Spanish, Japanese, and the Americans. But the Filipinos had resolve. With faith, wit, and bravery, they were able to reclaim the archipelago. The Age of Enlightenment, too, came to our shores as ideas about individual freedom inevitably flooded in. The Katipunan was born on the day Rizal was banished, a man who sparked a revolution with the power of his pen. Bonifacio rose to the challenge. Aguinaldo came and took up the yoke. After all the struggles came Americanization, as can be seen in Clark. The influence in our educational system and capitalization and our way of life. As historians would say, only when the present is seen as a continuation of a historical process, as part of history in flux, can the future be consciously shaped. The past is not seen as a frozen reality. It should not be the object of mere contemplation if the present is to be meaningful. Our history is a part of our identity. We remember, we ride, we embrace our freedom.